All right, people. This is Brother Lab back again with another video. Um, so this is gonna be a, this is a bit of a, um, a bit of an urban video. Um, very different to a usual one. Um, I know the United Everton game hasn't kicked off yet, but um, I just want to talk about the referees in the Premier League and what ha has happened to our game. I've just watched Fulham against West Ham. It was, let's say, you know, it's fair to say it was a pretty dull affair between two teams. West Ham doing well, um, looking to get into Europe. Uh, Fulham trying to close the gap um, on Burnley onto 17th place. Um, and I've just seen one of the most ridiculous red card decisions. Uh, I can't believe it. I'm not even a West Ham fan. Right, but Suchek is so unlucky to get sent off for that. Right, I mean, look, he's up against Mitrovic, who's pushing him and holding him, grabbing him. He's just trying to move his arm out of the way, and he ca he accidentally catches his face, it, like his forehead, with his elbow. And Mitrovic goes down. Fair enough. He's in. He, he might be in pain. I don't know if he tried to overdo it. Apparently, he said it's not a red card. Look, I know we had a lot of decisions given away from Mike Dean the other night, but that decision was not good. Mike Dean's a very experienced referee. VAR had a look at it, and he told it told Mike Dean to go over to the monitor. And I'm like, I hope Mike Dean makes the right decision here because that is definitely not a red card. That is definitely not a red card. You know, West Ham players, maybe it's an advantage if it doesn't get overturned. I hope it does get overturned because that's justice. Um, you know, and obviously we are, we will be in a game with West Ham for sure. But a ridiculous decision um, from the officials there. I really think they got it wrong. It wasn't an aggressive game. It wasn't even that many cards. I think there were only like three cards in the game. I think they're all... West Ham, I think all the cards went to West Ham. Uh, two yellows, Fabianski and Obonna, and the red went to Suchek, of course. And I just cannot believe it, what's happened. And in the early game, I didn't see much of it. Aston Villa v Arsenal at Villa Park. Um, uh, Mikel Arteta goes up to the referee and he, you know, to the officials and speaks with them and he says, I'm talking to you with respect. So obviously he wanted to ask them about a decision, but the referee just pointed and told him uh, to piss off. Well, not, not literally, but yeah. I mean, how wrong is that? I mean, I, I try to back up these referees week in, week out. There are some really good ones, I have to say. And... Um, I do feel for them that you know they're on under a lot of uh, stress, pressure, expectation. All they do is get abused by fans, players, managers, you know. And but and sometimes you need to be a bit, you know, have that thick skin and be a bit, a bit like how the referees can be. But I really, really don't agree with some of the things I've seen today. I really, really don't. I mean, when I saw it live on BT, I thought, ooh, Arteta might have uh, got himself in trouble there with the referee. But I've looked back on a video, I'm like, wow. I mean, you know, I'd feel really hurt and disappointed. I think early in the season, there was a game between Leeds and Burnley where Sean Dyche said to the referee, is it all right if I come in your room to have a chat with you? about some decisions but the referee ignored him and didn't reply you know so look i'm a man united fan i know we get a lot of decisions our way but look i i, I just can't believe that like var everything is just a bit too soft you know if a player goes slightly over the ball and catches a player it's a red card in you know, endangering the safety of an opponent. Um, you know, football used to be very, very tough, tough tackling, like years ago, pre-VAR. 
you know, and we know what a dangerous tackle is. We know what a dangerous tackle is, you know, if you're going two-footed where you stood up and you catch a player high, it's a red card. But, you know, some of them are accidental and I don't agree with everything that goes on. Um, you know, hopefully Man United uh, get a good refereeing performance tonight as well. Um, but yeah, um, from my point of view, it, it is quite, it is quite disappointing to see that in our game, that were, you know, every decision is, you know, very, very soft, soft red cards like that. Um, but yeah, I do still respect the referees. I do still respect the job that they do. You know, it is a very, very difficult job that they have to uh, accomplish week in, week out. And um, I'm sure they are many, many good referees. But I just think sometimes, you know, when players and managers are talking to you with respect, you communicate back to them with respect. That is how it works. You know, um, I understand sometimes you have to be like that um, as a person, you know, to be to be mentally strong. But I'm afraid, you know, you've got to respect people when they treat you with that same kind of respect. I don't know what's gone on, but yeah, um, they need to cut out the soft red cards and they need to start communicating with people. Um, I'm sure they do on the pitch anyway, but we need to see a bigger improvement from our match officials. Um, guys, tell me what you think um, about this situation um, please remember to leave a like subscribe and comment below I've almost reached 110 subscribers which is fantastic and I shall see you all soon